Hey folks, good guy Glenn here, and today is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. I am at the Maryland House on Route 95 in Maryland. I've had one heck of a week. Breakdown after breakdown after breakdown. Let's start with Monday. Monday. I, uh drop over at U.S. Foods, my load from Ohio. I get unloaded early. Everything is great. I get a load, right, down in Virginia. I get on 81 to head to 220 to head south to uh, where I got to do my pickup. And I get clipped by a truck. Hits my mirror, cracks my, uh, cracks my convex mirror, keeps going. I radio on the CB. You just hit me, driver, and tells me to go do something to myself. Okay. So, I call the accident hotline. That was a huge mistake. Now, I understand you have to report all accidents. But from Jump Street, they acted, they treated me like I was a criminal. I asked my DM what I should do, and he told me call the accident hotline, but now mind you, now I'm going down 220, which is like a scenic highway. It's like a country road. There's no place to pull over. I start losing air. Losing air drastically, like where the truck is hissing out air. I pull over in a spot that's not even really a shoulder, but what can I do? It's not even really a shoulder. I'm just in a soft shoulder, pretty much in the ditch. And what the truck is doing now is it'll hold air up to 150, maxing out. And I guess once it maxes out, it just empties both tanks to zero. Then it'll stop, fill back up to 150, and then go to zero. Put in a DVIR, I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait. And all of a sudden, the to uh, service tech comes. I tell him, I think my uh, air pressure, you know, air supply relief valve, air pressure relief valve is shot. He says, I think so too. He goes, I'm going to get it from, I could get it from the international dealer right down the road. And I could probably do it right here. But then it comes back to me and says that they're telling him to tow it into their shop. Okay. I wait hours more for the tow truck. Now it's at four o'clock in the afternoon. I've been doing, I've been broke down since zero nine in the morning. I says to them. Both of them, the tow truck driver and the guy, the mechanic. Can I stay at your shop tonight? Because by the time you guys get done fixing this at 7 o'clock, there's not going to be a place for me. And I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah, no problem. Tell me. It's over an hour away. Um, and we pull in basically to a parking lot of the doctor's office. And the tow truck... The tow truck headquarters is right there. There's no shop. There's no shop. They're going to fix me on the street there. You could have fixed me on the side of the highway, dude. And I could have still made my pickup. Wait. They fix me. They fix the uh, air supply. The uh, air pressure relief valve fixed. Then they tell me, uh, I got bad news for you. You can't stay here. Well, obviously I can't stay here. This is a doctor's office parking lot. Well, you could go down the road to Liberty. I'm like, are they going to have a spot for me? They're like, definitely. Yeah, because I trust you. It's already after 7 o'clock. Now I got to go on the clock. I go down to Liberty, and to my surprise, there's several spots there after 7 o'clock. This is one of those little gem truck stops that nobody knows about. What? It didn't show up on my GPS. I couldn't find it on the GPSs. Couldn't find this place, but it exists and it's there. Walmart right next door. Booyah, I need to do some shopping. 
I pull in, close down for the night. But now I don't have a load for the next day. So I get up the next day. I wait for everybody to come into Nashville. Nashville's an hour behind East Coast time. They send me this load that I just dropped today. I have to go to um, Amherst, Virginia. And, you know, that's like way out and you got to go on like some side ass road to get there. So I just did that. Nice morning drive. It was nice. Picked up the load early. Ran out of there. And I had to take 29 all the way up. 200 miles to Falls Church. Okay. Okay. Now I'm on the Beltway, 495 to 95. Bad traffic. I'm shooting for the big TA over in Jessup. I get on 95, people start beeping at me and pointing. Guys roll down the window. I've got a blown tire. Okay. The exit for Jessup is right up the road. I get into the shoulder, I ride the shoulder. I get off in Jessup, I park, I look. The tire's still inflated. The recap came off, whacked and destroyed the uh, mud flap and bent the mud flap guard into the tires. So if I would have kept going, it would have hit the other tandem and that would have been it. The, retra the recap was hanging onto the axle. So I was dragging that. All right, I pay for my spot at Jessup. I'm gonna take care of this in the morning because now you're now we're on my time, right? Go off duty next morning, five o'clock in the morning. I put in a request. They're like, go check in. We sent it. We sent over the work request. Go check in. I go to check in. TA repair shop doesn't open till eight o'clock in the morning. It's five o'clock in the morning. So I go there at 7.30 And there's somebody in there So I go in there He goes, we're not open yet, sir I was like, can you just do me a favor? Did you get a work request from Western Express? He goes, yeah Got your phone number Reads off my phone number I'm great Go back to my truck to drink coffee Girl calls me Uh I was just checking to see what they, this guy's gonna do Cause I'm Bobtail right now So Everyone's trying to like jam into my spot. So, they bring me in eight o'clock in the morning, first thing in the morning. I pull up to the door. They tell me to back up and turn around and back in. Okay. I can't do it because that little alley there, if you've ever been to Jessup, where you pull in, that's where everyone comes around for the cat scale. And then idiots park there. And they block that little alley. I asked this guy to move. He moved. I pulled out. I backed in. No problem. Actually, a pretty easy back. For me, at least. The guy doesn't know what how he's going to fix the situation with the mud flap. I'm like, heat it with a torch. And bend it with the wrench. He got the giant pipe wrench. Him and another dude bent it back halfway with brute force. Half inch, uh, quarter inch steel. Pretty impressive. Then they heated it with a torch. They bent it back. Then they couldn't get the tire on the rim. They needed to get a new rim. All of this has to be approved by Western. Every step of the way they have to send in to get an approval. Western drags their feet. Noon comes. I'm still. Now I put this DVIR in at five, right? Noon comes. Still waiting. One o'clock comes. They're finished. I boogie up 40 miles up the road to Aberdeen, Maryland. Going up 95 was really weird because I could see the key 
Francis Key Bridge. I could see the two things end, and I saw the debris in the water. That bugged me out a little bit. I got off, followed co-pilot, big mistake. Should have followed Rand McNally. Co-pilot took me down a road where there were signs saying no trucks. I was uh, pretty much dedicated to go that way at that point because there's no turning around on those small country roads. So tomorrow, Rand McNally back over to that spot. So I get there. I drop, pull in the door, drop. Pick up my empty, got a good empty. And then all of a sudden, I have a pending. As soon as I clear out current job, new job pops up, pick up there. Clorox, Aberdeen. All right. I pull up now with my empty to the guard shack. I ask the ladies, is my load ready? She's like, no, the do it's at the door. The trailer's at the door. It hasn't been loaded yet. It'll be probably be loaded at 4 a.m., to be honest with you, whatever. She said, you come back tomorrow. She goes, why don't you leave that trailer here and bobtail? It'll be easier for you to find parking. Are you serious? Like, you're being nice to me? I went back in, dropped that trailer back, bobtailed down here to... Uh, Maryland house, got a spot, had a burrito. I wish I could get a shower. I need one bad. I'm leaving out a whole bunch of stuff that's really important, but I'll get to that. So here I am. My next load, I pick up a Clorox. I'm bringing it up to Maine. Tragically, after I drop this in Maine, I might wind up at Poland Spring. Don't mind picking up a Poland Spring, but when you pick up a Poland Spring, you generally bring it into the city, New York City. I don't want to, I don't want to drive to New York City. I understand. I'm, I'll figure it out. I'll see what happens. Let's just pray on it that I don't wind up there. Now. Let's rewind to yesterday when I was staying at Jessup, TA. Huge truck stop. Great spot. There's a hotel there. I wouldn't recommend staying there. It's pretty dirty from what I've been told by other truckers. There's a restaurant there. Apparently pretty good. I didn't eat there. I ate on the truck. Corporal Chaffee came to visit me. He brought me a Marine Corps flag for the truck. Because he says I have to have one on the truck. So, got the Marine Corps flag flying on the truck. And we hung out. We talked. And uh, he saw, like, what I'm doing. And uh, he's like, it's like living on ship. I'm like, kind of. A little bit more room. A little bit less room. I don't know how to. I don't know. But um, it was cool to see him. I was really happy about that. Then, when I was dropping that trailer to bobtail over here, a Western, some kid from Western who was with his trainer comes up and asks me where I was going. Lot lizards do this. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, he has to get to the Bethlehem Terminal. And I'm like, bro, I'm going up to, uh, I thought I was going to Massachusetts. I didn't realize I was going to Maine. I looked real quick at the thing. He's like, well, can you call your DM and tell him that you're going to drop me off in Bethlehem. Bro, I'm going through Jersey. I already have this route planned. I'm picking up tomorrow at noon. I'm driving out to... I'm driving out to Bordentown, New Jersey, where I'm going to shut down because you're not, you're not going over the George Washington Bridge at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not going near North Jersey at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's where I'm from. I know all about it. Not doing it. Shutting down in Bordentown tomorrow at the TA, the big TA in Bordentown. Shutting down over there. Then I'll run 3 o'clock in the morning over the George Washington Bridge, beating all that traffic. Get up into Connecticut. It's really weird 
Western has never taken me over the GW going into the city because that's a hundred dollar toll. They usually reroute me up to the tap. I bet you that they'll reroute me up to the tap in Z. I just have a feeling that that's what's going to happen. But anyway, I digress. This dude wanted me to give him a ride to the Bethlehem Terminal. Like, what? Why do you have to go to the Bethlehem Terminal, dude? You're like, with your trainer? I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't know what was going on. Bro, I don't have a bunk in this truck. All right? I got my food storage and, um, you know, my winter clothes are all on my top bunk. I don't have a mattress. Second of all, I don't pick up till tomorrow at Clorox. I'm like, where are you gonna stay, dude? You're not staying with me. I don't, I'm not gonna ride anyone and I'm not gonna train anyone. It's just not gonna happen. I'm not doing it. So, I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick. Seriously, I'm not trying to be a dick. He was like asking me all these wacky questions. Like, well, how many hours do you have? Like, I'm gonna run him out tonight, bro. Not happening, dude. It was already like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to Maryland House and I'm shutting down. I'm not having another last night where, luckily, Jessup doesn't really fill up because there's like 500 spots at Jessup. And you got to pay to be there. No matter what, you got to pay. So no, a lot of people don't go there because they won't pay. You know my philosophy. I'll pay if it's a safe place for me to stay for the night and I don't have to worry. I'm not sleeping in the shoulder. I saw a lot of Western Express drivers sleeping in the shoulder. That's a big no-no. I'm not going to blow up anybody's spot, but there was quite a few. But I don't know what that was about that the dude needed to get to uh, the Bethlehem Terminal. From what I understand, the Bethlehem Terminal is closed right now. So tomorrow... I'll go pick up this load. I'm supposed to pick up at noon. I'm going to start calling at 8 and see if it's ready. I'm going to head up to Bordentown. It's over 100 miles north of here in Jersey. I'm going to shut down in Bordentown. Then I'm going to go shoot over to George Washington super early. And then I'm going to have to find a place north of Connecticut to shut down. I probably will go to that pilot I like to go to. Or maybe I'll just run straight out to Maine and find a place to shut down up in Maine because I can't deliver to the supermarket to 1600 Tomorrow, I will call that supermarket and see if I can drop early. From there, Poland Spring is kind of far from where I'm dropping. I'm hoping that that's not where I'm going. There's the two places in, uh, in uh, Maine where you pick up Poland Spring. Hennessy, Hennessy, no, something like that, and then Poland Spring itself, and that's like way further north. Not to say that they won't send me up there. There's a good possibility they'll send me up there. If they send me up there, then I might wind up going to the city. I don't know. Or I might wind up going to West Rock and picking up a load at West Rock and bringing it to Syracuse. We'll see. I don't know, but I know that I feel blessed to have a safe place to stay tonight. I'm looking at I-95. It's like 25 feet from me and uh, maybe 50 feet, maybe 100 feet. Nah, 50 feet. Yeah, about 50 feet. Anyway, like I said, feeling blessed thinking about the future. I've been in bad spirits the last couple days. I'm not going to lie. Really bad spirits. Uh, very stressed out. Truck has just been breaking down a lot. Now the brakes need to be done in the truck. I don't think it's super critical, but they need to be done soon. I'll uh, ask about that coming up this weekend. I'll see where I wind up for the weekend and see if they could uh, get me in for a brake service. That would be nice. And yeah, that's just me trying to catch you all up on like what's going on. I wanted to uh, 
talk about stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. The world is in a crazy place right now. Real crazy place. War going on. It's not cool. But have faith. Say your prayers, man. Say your prayers that we don't have World War III. And I'm just thinking about things I need to do. I need to start doing more truck stop videos because I got a lot to say about truck stops, dude. Like as far as just the level of service at the truck stops. Just feel like it's getting worse. I'm just very surprised about the coffee situation at the truck stops lately. Coffee is like a big deal. At a truck stop, how could you not have coffee ready? How could you not have creamer for the coffee? Just these are questions I have. Really weird. But anyway, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all love your family, say your prayers, take your vitamins, drink plenty of water, eat a banana and a Greek yogurt every day. Remember, you might not get what you want, but you're definitely going to get what you need. And if you could, please like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so when I drop another video, you get a notification. And once again, this is Good Guy Glenn. Thanks for watching.